Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Songs of Conquest where today we flee. We flee from the endless tide of the undead and also maybe we like sneak, what on earth just happened there? Okay, there we go. Uh, maybe also, you know, we could just like sneak back around and like steal some of our buildings back. We, we could slow them down, right? We could just fuck up their shit a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. On the, on the way through here, we'll see. Uh, so first of all, Pretty straightforward with you. Uh, I guess you can tag the milestone again on your way past for the movement bonus. And running. And all of the running that must be done. Okay, uh, you also can tag the milestone. May as well touch the shrine. Uh, is the, is the scholar select turn? Okay, it's not a refreshing buff. Like we could come over here, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna have Cecilia try to mess with some of his buildings real quick. We'll just, we'll see if that's feasible. But obviously, like the place we actually need to go is down here. And I don't know where he is, but it's definitely like it is something I am concerned about. Okay, Cecilia, can you uncap? Yes, you can. You can steal income from him very easily. So that's fun. Uh, which means that we are for sure grabbing all this stuff back as we pass. And you are just continuing on here. You never touched the petrified tree. And in fact, you're allowed to visit the lectern as well. We probably should. Uh, absolutely, absolutely give me a level for a resource that we have 10 billion of. We certainly don't need the woodcutter. I think we're taking combat training here. What if you just always did more damage? Always, forever. Seems pretty solid. It's funny how, like, so if I have her selected at the beginning of the turn, and the like if, if we have the camera centered on her and the game has him selected, if I hit tab, it changes selection from him to her, but it moves the camera from her to him, which is how I made that uh, that movement error last episode. That's, uh, that's a thing they should probably fix. I bet they would like to like for their thing to not work that way. Okay, so he has left some troops in place here but it seems like we can we can definitely handle this y'all probably want to be a little further back i do not think you are going to be providing much in the way of offense here today all right let's do it manually just in case you know it does seem like our troops behave remarkably poorly when we are not in direct control of them uh, so it seems like we're only going to get one melee attack off on these. Do we want it to be the knights, potentially? I guess not. I guess it's okay for it to be... Uh, let's see here. Protection. We get to do protection on two people. Thanks to leveling up our stuff. Ah, uh, that's frustrating that that's non-lethal. If I blow this up... Okay, decent damage to the guy up top. Yeah, I figured that the, um, the, what do you call it? The sappers would, would kill these dudes without question. And we don't quite do enough damage to bring you down. But you know what, honestly, I think it is important that we do the damage. I'm really not worried about this guy and we destroyed that barricade sort of accidentally, but. No, it's fine. Let him, let him get his opportunity attacked off. Alright. Uh, now, unfortunately, there's not much I can do aside from just, like, cast damage spells and... Uh, fucking up his range, I guess? It's not gonna matter. He's not still gonna be alive, so... Just like make sure my melee troops move as fast as possible. Okay, you can't get close enough. That's not a big surprise. You can, also not a big surprise. 
And there we go. That's a resettlement, uh, a settlement recaptured. It's not going to have a lot of utility to us. It's going to earn us a little bit of income, um, but it is going to slow down the uh, the army as it comes down here. Hmm. Raise two buildings per round, gaining loot from them in the process, or place your wielder inside. See, the thing is, it is it is worth so little. Maybe we should just raise it. He'll probably still stop to rebuild it on the way back. But also, it means my wielder doesn't have to stay there. And that seems important. Alright, you are also just running down here. Oh, hey, that is a, uh... That's a, what do you call it, a celestial ore mine. That's like the mo the only important resource. Obviously we're gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, plus one celestial ore each round is, is incredibly valuable. All right, plus three movement for a couple of turns. We'll just head back to the road over here. And you know what, we can have him scout out this area because we definitely have not, we're not in a big hurry at the moment. Okay, even more essences for the whole battle. That counts as visited already. We'll just sneak up on this orchard the back way here. Okay, he's in the forest north of the big settlement, so we, we have some time. I could probably have taken control of that small settlement, but I don't know that it would have been worthwhile. Okay, it does feel like 800 gold worth of apples is a lot to steal, doesn't it? Do I want to lead with you? I guess we'll have you approach them from the front, because there's a, you know, there's every chance that, like, when I walk in here proper, something's going to happen. Actually, do I want to maybe... Let's run up here and merge our troops real quick. Uh, I'll just, I'll hold on to the minstrel, I guess. Or no, I'll hold on to some sappers. That's not how I meant to do that. Uh, all of them. All of them. As many as we can. All right, and then I actually will give you the minstrel. It's, I'm just moving them within the same army. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, do we want to pass over any gear? I don't think we do, right? No, I don't think it's necessary. Well. Do I want to pass gear from him back to her? Like, honestly, I think I probably would rather have the great axe than the crossbow. It is a slight improvement over the other both hands weapons we have access to. You do a lot of melee damage. Eh. It's so hard to judge again because like because I don't really know what four offense is worth in terms of damage output. Uh fall back and touch this. And then I'm actually gonna have her just wait here. I put everybody into this army, so let's let them let's let them lead. Okay, a shrine of Aurelia that has been visited by the enemy. Here's a crypt to pillage. Okay, this is considered a pretty fair battle. There's nothing I can do to unfair that at all. It doesn't look like it. Well, we are going to need to take this. So if I go to the guard tower. Okay. Outside the settlement of Oak Haven stood a familiar wielder, Roderick of Loth, a man whose code of honor was respected by all. This is the part where Cecilia threatens him for no reason. 
and gets us all killed. Roderick, it's been some time. How wonderful to see you. But please tell me you have the required tribute. Cecilia will not be happy if there are more delays. Well, we've had some troubles with Barians, and I do not have the tribute. But Baron Aldous of Loth has sent me to offer the settlement of Oakhaven and all its income for the next year as compensation. Wow, that seems like a big... That's a lot. It feels like a lot of money. Roderick, I'm not sure this will be enough. You must make your Baron understand that if he doesn't provide the tribute and the levy, Cecilia will be forced to act the way her father did with Old Lord Hammond. The Barony of Loth is always ready to defend the interests of her allies. Baron Aldous has been alerted to the Fae threat and is already on his way with a great host to deal with any resistance to a peaceful and prosperous Arleon. Ah, peace and prosperity, like in the days of the Empress Aurelia. I long for that as well. But first we must deal with the Fae. Will you join me? I must hasten to guide the Baron through the woods but I would count it an honor to fight side by side in the conflict to come. Farewell, Paradine. Safe travels, Roderick. May your essence flow. Okay, so this is Oakhaven. Are we, be we are being given Oakhaven? That's pretty good. Um, I'll take that <laughs> without having to like fight for it or anything. This building is pillaged because some, some asshole pillaged it. Can you believe it? Uh, so, it's a crypt. Are we allowed to use a crypt? I mean, it looks like yes. It looks like it's just going to produce some legionnaires for us. We have a mausoleum producing, uh, producing specters. So we can't build these buildings that produce other things uh, that produce the units of another faction, but it seems like maybe we can still benefit from them. So we have a medium, a large, and a small, which means we can't do like a lumber yard and a sapper building. Well, the, the peasant hut gets us the sappers and the knights. I feel like that's probably the right thing to do. Take over the Shrine of Aurelia. In the year 2 BA, Baron Gaius of Loth did kneel before Aurelia, recognizing her as the leader Arleon needed to usher in an age of peace. Aurelia favored Loth for their steadfast loyalty. May our union be everlasting. Wouldn't that be sick if our union could just be everlasting and nobody got executed? Okay, there's not actually anything down here. Uh, well, I guess we should continue looking this way. I feel like we're probably pretty close to the meaningful edge, the end of the map, though. The road led out of the Tenderwild and toward the Barony of Loth, but now was not the time to visit the Vassal of Stoneheart, Stout, Stoutheart. The western province from Ashbourne to Windshade must be restored first. Okay. So we are going to have to actually defeat this army of the undead. That's the thing that's got to actually happen. But we have access to some interesting buildings this time. The Legionnaires and Spectres are both, um, they're both powerful. Is there anything I can do to improve these? Oh, hell yeah, scavenged bones. Please, please do. We could, we could improve these if we made... Oh, boy. Should I tear this down for stoneworks? Like... No, right? We want to get... We want to get our multiple troop types out of this. We need to get multiple troop types out of this. Oh, but I guess I don't have a spot for the castle anyway. And I would definitely rather have archers coming in. Yeah. So if I tore this down... If I tore this down and we built a stoneworks... 
that wouldn't affect what we're able to build here. Yeah, none of this stuff actually cares about that. Maybe it's worth doing. We can't do it right now anyway because the barracks is building, so let's let the barracks finish. Okay, he's still all the way up there. Uh, I guess she's going to start filling up. I guess we shouldn't go to the crypt, right? We should go to the main settlement building and just draft all the troops at the same time. So... Yeah, I mean, right? Just pick up everything. These things are these things are terrifying. So like melee offense one, ranged offense five. Or sorry, the upgraded versions are melee offense one. Yeah, the the legionnaires are legionnaires and specters are both like statistically, they're so impressive relative to the units that we have here. All right, I'm going to have you, I guess, like, the thing to do is to press out and mess with the southern parts of his territory, maybe, or there's still a little bit of forest to explore. Maybe that would be the thing to do. This is this is a pretty healthy army. And Cecilia will just hang out and help get stuff done. Yeah, it's like, do you want sappers or do you want upgraded specters and and bone troops? And I think it's got to be the upgraded specters and bone troops. As much as sap sappers are fun. I, I think I moved here. Oh, I can't make a stoneworks. I can make a quarry. Okay, the, the lower tier buildings are... Probably um, per faction, right? But don't we want to do this? Would I rather than have a lumber mill here and make archers and shields of order than sappers? Because we can certainly build a lumber mill. We don't need the wood. I think I'm going to do it. I know this won't result in as many troops overall, but it will re result in a larger num uh, larger, um, larger stats on the troops we do get, and I think it's probably maybe worth it. Nope, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. One, one thing that really frustrates me about this game is that if you tell somebody to go somewhere and then you click back within their current move, it doesn't abbreviate their move to that point. It's, it appends that move to the end of the other movement orders they have, which is a crazy way for it to interpret that. All right, I will take a level here. Uh, we are not currently pulling any order essence by default with Paradine, but like most of our troops produce order. So it, this doesn't feel very interesting to me. Um, two points in it such that we get the... Um, we get the second tier versions of the spells, obviously would be interesting. Okay, he's gonna go and he's gonna go and rebuild that. Alright, get back over here. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, let's upgrade this. Okay. So yeah, we can just go ahead and dump those to the more impressive troop type immediately. There we go. I think that army is going to be pretty impressive when it's finished. And for now, we can just work on that. And run around grabbing uh, long-term stat bonuses and stuff. What is this? A sunken statue. An exceptionally large stone statue of a dragon sat abandoned in the swamp. 
It seemed to have been carved from one rock, but that must have been a long time ago. A dragon statue, here at the edge of the Tenderwild. Uh, the old stories say the Fae and the dragons were enemies, so maybe the dragons invaded here before Aurelia destroyed the ball. I'm glad she did, but I'd love to have seen one. Where does this portal... I guess the portal is probably not actually going to teleport us anywhere. It's listed as just a source of knowledge at this point. Okay, we drafted already this turn. We are so set on resources. Alright, uh, we could upgrade this, but doing so doesn't do anything that I care about. I should build my Grand Armory. Unfortunately, building the Grand Armory is gonna... Oh, well, we still have income. That's right. We will, in fact, perhaps get to buy some some cool, meaningful upgrades. And it won't matter so much that we don't have the range upgrade for the sappers. Okay. Just remains that teach us some interesting lessons. Alright, a bunch of wood and amber from this bog. And last we saw him, he was over here, but we don't actually know where he is right now. So it's a little risky for me to go that way, I think. Let's head up here and see about uh, maybe a little bit of harassment on his economy while the other army forms. This would be really cool if we could draw him backward away from, uh, away from Cecilia while she's still forming up. We can hold up to 10 scavenged bones in our army. These things are, these things are terrifying. I'd be very happy to have that. All right. Let's grab a little bit of run fast. Yoink. I will take your creation spire away. And we're gonna see about an approach here. This army is strong enough to fight defenders, I think, pretty easily. Um, but obviously if he shows up with his real army, uh, we're gonna have to flee. So we can jam, wow, you're allowed to stick 40 legionnaires into a uh, <laughs> into a slot that's ridiculous so like to compare to you 13 melee offense 24 defense all right they're they're in the neighborhood offense wise but they still have that that guard ability and their damages yeah it's that's impressive it's an impressive unit okay so I don't even know if he's using the, well, that's him right there. I should, we should leave. I took some stuff and now I will bail. Cause obviously to, to stand and fight would be deeply foolish. It's a shame that it's so hard to have like good scouting information. Because they don't feel like we can really, like, dance around him, right? Uh, actually... Hold on. These troops are in... These are sitting in the troop slots in the garrison. Is there a way to pull them out? Okay, no, I, I drained them into the ar her army already. Okay. So we're still grabbing new shields of order, still grabbing new archers every turn. Uh, and there's three more turns on, on the scavenged bones at the very least for that slot to be full. Okay. Well, let's see about this. So we still have the bonus range on you. So 
So we can take some plus 10 defense, plus 10 ranged offense, or I could start putting in for more general offensive amounts. Unfortunately, these this stuff only affects human troops. So it does feel like improving specific troop types. Well, so we have a stack of archers, a stack of footmen, and a stack of sappers that'll benefit from broad human research. And I guess that being the case, plus ranged offense still makes sense. We can put in another one of that even. And I didn't improve the range of the sappers, but I think I would rather have the 20 offense on the archers and the sappers just have the shorter range. I don't know, maybe. But the real question is, will he have pursued me into the forest? For the moment, I'm going to just head back to town, I guess. He, uh, he went around. Very interesting. Very, <laughs> very good to know. Uh, well then, we will go back this way, I suppose. He moved fast. But yeah, if we can keep him busy while, uh, while Cecilia's powering up, I think that's worth doing. Right. Every upgrade, yes, every single upgrade requires a bunch of celestial ore, so we're just going to have to wait for more to generate here, but overall I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, how do I... There's a button for adjusting what's in the garrison, right? I guess maybe once the troop pool fills up, the troops go into the garrison from there. Oh no, okay, we can draft like this. Because these stocks may as well keep emptying. Wow, he got close enough to attack in a single turn. It is crazy how fast he is. Well, we're being told this one is merely risky. We are nearly full on these troops. And I did draft maximum defenses, although obviously it's only going to help so much for Cecilia. Um, yeah, the fact that those troops are drafted into defense won't keep her alive. The one knight probably doesn't need to be so close. The specter starting a little closer probably makes a lot of sense. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it like this. Or do I want to put the archers? You know what? I'm going to put the archers up here and have the specters start like there. We actually have enough troops that we can kind of advance um, strong units on two fronts at once, which is really cool. So do you have the... No, you don't have that knight bonus movement or bonus damage for movement thing. There's not really a good reason to run forward with you until, uh, until the time has come to start laying waste to people. Uh, but with your infinite retaliations... Yeah, I don't really want you to get up there. I guess just like hang out right here, honestly. Okay, cost one movement ends the turn. So. Oh, those guys can get close enough to. I didn't realize. Well, we don't need to give them any more ability to attack us meaningfully here. Okay, so on this one, we do have the resources for a Quicken. 
I could I could get into melee range. We have much better stats than we used to have. But also I could just move to here like and hit defend, right? I think we got to lead offense. I think we got to we got to press what we can. Who else gets it? Um them, I guess. One to two. Jeez, these things are tough. Well. Okay, it was most of a second point worth of troops. So obviously this thing we can take down trivially with anyone. I mean, while our stacks are still strong, we want to... We want to press them as hard as possible. Oh no! Okay, that's cool. Uh, what I might want to do now... Because you're already in deadly range. Do I want to just take the shot? I probably do. The high ground bonus is only like 20%, right? You, I'm not getting the deadly bonus against even. It's probably worth it to like run up here. Yeah, because that way we get we gain deadly while we're while we're making our moves happen, and then we can have you can have our own bone centaur thing. Well, I don't know what you call this. It's not a centaur. It's kind of the opposite of a centaur in the way that it's like the top halves of many things on the ground and then I guess there's no bottom halves at all? It's just a rock. I don't know. I don't know what to call that. Kill one unit and target troop. That's interesting. We have a, we have a lot more destruction than we usually have, so summon three mines that deal 30 damage when stepped on. How much health do these guys have? 22? So this would be so it'd be one dead for each space they step on. It's not very compelling. I think I am gonna just um I think I am gonna adjust this this unit. Let's just get rid of that. And then also defense is up on you two. Okay, they're down to just one stack of bone cavalry. And this was always going to be scary. But these are the these are the two oh man, it's not the legionnaires are far from trivial to defeat as well. I was going to be like these are the two things we need to remove and then it's clean sailing, but no, not really. One? Ugh. You have such you have such good range. I guess here's a true here's an enemy that doesn't have a bow. Or uh, doesn't have a shield rather. That's something. And then let's see here. We can do some damage to you. We can force you. Uh, man. Yeah, I can force him back on the initiative order. Is it worth moving to attack him? Like, am I just going to get murdered if I try to... I think I am. I think I'm just going to get murdered if I try to attack him. We'll just get mur We'll get murdered in this way instead. He'll only do six to eight damage, huh? If I move here, I take a counterattack first, but I do at least kill the the thing. I I think I'm doomed no matter what. Okay, I took so much damage from the uh, opportunity attack that I did not finish off the specters. All 
Well, ranged resistance is certainly not what we're looking for at this point. Uh, you get plus attacks. And also some defenses. It's pretty good damage overall. Yeah. Well. Uh, okay, so let's just go ahead and load the autosave now, shall we? I didn't think we were going to get there. The, the fact that it only said risky made me a little bit more hopeful, but yeah, we definitely were not getting there. There's no version of that where that was working. So again, we have this problem where he doesn't actually have to be able to get adjacent to us in order to attack us, which is really annoying. And I guess since we know what he's doing, I can just run back over here and capture this stuff, right? I could have, I suppose another move would have been to send Paradine back and try, like, to intentionally attack him in the forest and just lose the army on purpose, but like do a ton of damage in, in doing so. If I jump in here and hit defend with wielder. All right, well, you want to eject a defending wielder. Okay, there's a button for it. And I can't really manage her army now. Can I manage? Okay, if I do this. I should have had her, sorry, I should have had her interact with this first. And then max out her troops off of that. Yeah, okay, so all the pools are empty. It looks like it went back more than just the one turn, right? Because our, our army was closer to complete than this, I want to say. Oh, maybe not. So I guess at this point I want to jump in here, right? Because with these extra troops and the extra ballista and everything, I wonder if we could do it. We were pretty close. We're going to try. We're going to see. But I think we have one more turn. I think that's where it put us. Okay, so we actually will have a couple of turns because of the, the positioning of our opponent there. So let's go ahead and keep filling. It is a little bit of a bummer though that you have to keep like tucking them in every turn and then pulling them back out. Maybe there's a better, a more, um, elegant way to move troops from the recruit pools to the army of a wielder that's garrisoned inside a settlement that I'm seeing. Because, like, this is not a good way to do that, obviously. So, I could do the thing, right? We could just hurl ourselves at him, burn his ass to the ground as best we can, just, like, you know, kill the units we can kill, and then... rebuild and hope that by the time we got the rebuilding done this is a small settlement I could just I could just run over and attack it and run right he would probably do something about that hell we could go for this huh yeah we could just run straight for this he'd pretty much have to follow us but maybe it's better that we just give him the full of our army's capabilities now and then start re rebuilding 
the secondary army. Because it doesn't seem like he's recovering, right? It seems like the, the damage that we've done to his army in the past remains. The thing where he has like that one unit of scavenged bones that's only a single uh, body, for example. So let's do something a little bit more like that, maybe. It's a shame there's no high ground on my side of the battlefield. So we can't really like get anywhere to prep for counterattacks. We just have to. Well, it won't take them long to get over here anyway. So. You are at your full 65 health. It will not do very much to insect swarm you. Although it is, you know, it is quite a lot of initiative loss. Oh, well, when he came after us, he didn't have any oath bound. So I guess he is strengthening his army to some degree. Whose initiative is it worth messing with? The damage is gonna not really stack up to anything meaningful. Especially since it looks like they have resistances. Well, it'll actually take bodies out of this unit. And I think I am gonna have him run forward and just... Again, like, it doesn't make sense to just get attacked. Because at least if you run forward, you get to apply your offense from full health once. Yow. Okay, well, we do get to drop that one. I wonder if we're going to end up regretting this. If it will maybe turn out that the smarter move would have been... Um to let him keep the one unit because he won't like maybe he will replace the the lost slot in the army all right killing three of them it's gotta ow <laughs> gotta be worth something I can't believe we're not kidding. We're not getting even a single kill at that point. I mean, I can believe it, but it sucks. Uh, okay, you'll probably clear them out. I mean, removing the units of scavenged bones from the army is not meaningless. I guess we do lose the we do lose the what the gear, right? That's something. We have gear that is we have enough gear to re-equip him, but it is a little worse. And he'll be available like next turn. Does it say okay, it just says cannot revive yet. Oh, I mean it has a cost. I guess there's that. I had not realized that the cost for reviving a wielder included celestial ore. That's a shame. Hmm, if that's the case, <clears throat> that means we're doing a lot less armory work. Was that perhaps the wrong move? I mean, like, draining the draining the draining that particular unit out of his army seems really, really important. That unit is doing a huge amount of the work. Okay, and he is now walking down there to, uh, to fix that stuff. Okay, it's going to be a couple of turns. Oh, it'll be a couple of turns until it's free. Yeah, we're not in any hurry.
Okay. So we've got some full slots here. We can finish up on the archers. Honestly, like we probably, we want to move this knight. Is there a way to, well, we can pass the knight over to Paradine when he gets up. I just have a second slot of scavenged bones going. So he's going to show up pretty soon though, right? Like... So we can do 10 Spectres or 15 Legionnaires. 15 Legionnaires with 12, 15 versus 21, 19 on their stats. 40 health here versus 22 out there. I think it seems like it'd be better to let that be a second Spectre slot. Oh, sorry, that's the current troop size, not max. Yes, we want to we wanna let this get as full as possible. And I guess I also want to just put you in there for now. We can go ahead and boost the stats of our human troops a bunch. Oh wow, I actually ran out of gold. Okay, here comes the dude. And see, it's interesting that he gets to attack Cecilia and not the settlement garrison. He's attacking the settlement, but he's hitting Cecilia's army. I feel like if you attack the settlement, you should get you should get the settlement garrison, right? All right, well, this is pretty scary. And the thing is, if we were in the settlement right now, I think we would be able to do this. So we do learn, like, he does, he, he will replace a whole lost slot. But his army being all legionnaires, honestly, in a lot of ways, is less scary than having the, scare, the scavenged bones in it. I don't know that we'll be able to get them here, but, like, putting the, um, putting the army in the garrison will get us there probably okay so we don't have to let them first strike us we can just back up a little bit and prep okay you could step in and actually start Start the fight. If you did that... Okay, you wouldn't necessarily have to put yourself in position to be attacked by these guys, but I would absolutely be baiting the Spectre. That's probably okay. I think I'm okay with that. You get the move, and... I guess our own Spectre gets the move, just for maximal positioning. And then, like, we're gonna buff up you two. And we stand right here. The only retaliation we're getting is the terrifying retaliation of the enemy itself. I will say I'm not too happy with my specter going now. It'd be super cool if I could go like in a minute. Do I want to expose it? I think I don't, right? It doesn't have amazing defense. Well, it's not that much worse than anybody else's. But I, I kind of... I don't think there's a lot of benefit in exposing it now. Okay, so... The guard trait is just 
plus 10 defense. But it's not stacking. No, it is stacking. That shit sucks. I don't think we have much of a choice but to just shoot through it. Ouch. Basically dead already. Uh, you are not going to accomplish very much. But better this than dying for absolutely nothing. So we got one. Thirty-five damage to everything is definitely not where I want to be. Forty damage over two rounds is like very unexciting. I don't think we want to go dropping everybody's defense. And we can just we can just pump our own defenses, right? Yeah, that might be where we're at. So if I did this, it would consume all of my order. I'm going to pacify this troop for, you know, lightning the counter attack. And then we have all this chaos. I should spend it on something. Okay, I think I want you to run up and close this gap. We're almost rid of that thing. I think we just give, we don't spend our attack. We just, we just stay here and be difficult. Let's cast some defense ops and some defense ops. Wow, yeah, my, uh, my bones, my abandoned bones, or scavenged bones troops are not nearly as good as theirs, unfortunately. Okay, but now we've done that. Yeah, we're going to lose this. Only get about half of them. That's a shame. Do have to do it, though. Aggression is cool, but I don't think it's going to be sufficient to turn the tide here. Uh... Where's that? We don't we don't have access to that um, that like flicker step, do we? No. Yeah, we're just we're just out outnumbered here too much. All right. Once again, if the uh, let's load back to here. This was the one before we threw Paradine's army at him, right? To game the system just a little bit, we know that he will not replace the wounded necessarily, like in the um, in the army. Well, probably because he can't, right? He can't get scavenged bones from any of these uh, any of these settlements up here. If we're gonna do the fight, let's target for casualties in a different way than we did it there. But I think this is definitely a good idea as far as like drawing his attention goes. And then sadly, you just get to stand over here and be like very slowly drafting all the troops you need. Okay. 
So we know he'll respond to this provocation. Giving us a little bit more time to continue drafting all the troops we need. And I think I am just going to, like, if I full speed run through to here, I'm running past him as I go, so he will definitely have time to stop me. If I attack the settlement, I assume, like, we have a real question, too, about, like, how far away from the settlement does an army have to be for them to get drawn in to defense the way Cecilia keeps getting drawn into defense? Would it be Murkoth if we attacked here right now? What happens if I run through this way? Would he follow me all the way up there? I don't really want to fight him. I just want to... Oh, I just want to like, waste his time, ideally. Let's try... Let me try backing up to here. And seeing if he's still able to make it from there all the way to, uh, to this spot so fast that we can't even respond to it. Because it feels like he shouldn't be, right? Okay, he has to come and undo the damage we did. Seems like a fine time to grab an obelisk. Yeah, we can like we can mess with his stuff over here now. Just keep him off his feet. Right, like strategically, this is obviously the play, and it's the thing I'm hoping to do a lot, but it turns out I am just not well adjusted to how fast armies move in this game relative to the size of the maps because like they are on you again immediately <laughs> all right so Markoth is absolutely just following us directly makes sense that's what I would do all right we're gonna steal some of his stuff we're gonna pillage his mausoleum so that he's not regaining troops I mean, we should probably just knock this over as we pass, right? Threat level insignificant. We can certainly... The other option is we could try going up and we can see if if he follows us through here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because if he follows us through the mid, then we can just run him in a circle around there and also actually probably do some real damage to his economy, which doesn't maybe matter so much to him, but it'll matter to us, because every dollar he's not getting, we do get, it seems like. And unfortunately, we don't know what he did. He didn't get close enough to become visible, which is 100% uh, for sure the most terrifying move he had available. I'm gonna move up here and we'll just see if I see him. Because like, if he backed up to here, by the time we see him, we won't have enough movement left to get away from him. I'm gonna take his stone deposits. Yeah, we'll just continue this way. Did he back up to do defense? He did, but then he was able to chase us far enough to... Okay, so... <clears throat> what we want to emphasize here is not killing stacks, but weakening stacks. Yeah. 
in particular, if we can get them to come into battle with three stacks, if we get them to come into battle with three stacks of a single scavenged bone each, that would be that would be very solvable. Very might be strong. Solvable, I, th I think. Yeah, very is probably over <laughs> overstating things somewhat. I mean, throwing a barrier down isn't gonna, these things are so fast, they'll just go around. What is the best way to interfere? I guess it's to just attack these things, but like I'm not even gonna I'm not I'm not even gonna kill a single one of them, and then we are gonna lose the whole stack of troops. Damage is damage, I guess. This isn't gonna I'm not gonna spend the resources. It's not gonna prevent the, the death on counterattack. I will throw a damage spell on these guys just to like try to maximize the damage we're doing to them. Yeah, okay. Got one of them down to one. Here go my archers. Oh, interesting. Uh, that's no good. Because now he's going to replace that with a full stack of legionnaires. Well, sadly, there is nothing of value that you can do. I'm definitely going to boost those guys' attack. Now making sure that we have the resources to continue here yeah let's like insect swarm try to get a couple of a couple of these guys out of here nope don't get a turn so obviously like we would have to let him refill he doesn't have a rally point there, right? Like, we could just go after him now. See if we can get him while he's still weakened, because he lost. Gosh, do I think I could do that? She can only make it that far. Well, she can make it a little further. get aggressive with him. Let's see if we can see if we can prevent him from picking up troops to refill the uh, the lost slots. Okay, he wants to do it. I don't know that we've ever had a shot at him that was this clean. I think it's still bad, but I do think it's better. And he didn't, yeah, he didn't stop to refill. Although, his, having a cacophony of legionnaires, yeah, I think, I think it's still bad. I think it's still bad for us, but this is the, like, I, like I'm saying, this is the best of, the, probably the best we've ever had it. So 61, yeah, we definitely want the legionnaires not to take hits first. Put y'all right there. I'm a little worried they might be too far back to be useful? Well, whatever. Let's try it like this. Yeah, this is, this is for, for the armies we've been fighting from him, this is relatively soft. This is a good application of pressure. Don't want to do anything right away. I think you can just stand here pretty safely.
I don't think I'm going to offer this thing. So when it says duration one troop turn, does it mean like it lasts until the end of that troop's next turn? Or does it mean like right now is a troop turn and if, if I cast pacify now, it would wear off at the end of this guy's turn. So there's no reason to cast it right now in any case. I don't, I don't think I want to move. No, it's probably not worth it to move. We don't want to engage with this unit. Okay. He's having to split up a little bit, which is great news for us. Now we could run forward and clip two more points off of this guy. I don't know how much 10 defense is, but it's probably not as good as removing 50 damage, 50% 50 of the damage. I think I'm, I think I'm willing to do that, uh, but I definitely want to attack him from like this side, limit their ability to counterattack. Okay. Go get him, kid. I right, got one. You gotta give him that. He did got one. So... There's a way to do this that doesn't involve getting murked like that. It seems like we're pretty we're we're solid on getting two of them, so let's get let's get two of them like this. With target friendly troop three hexes, the troop will randomly end up in one of the adjacent hexes. You have five move, so one, two, three, four. Like yeah, I can definitely move to here without having to go through an enemy space. It's weird like how how aggressively bad the pathing is. And I don't mean bad in the sense that like it's doing a poor job, although it is. I think it's I think it's definitely intentional is the thing. Okay, they can all reach the archers. So we gotta make our next moves with that in mind. We don't have the ability to We don't have the ability to slow that down, but we could just chaos step. Yeah, I'm just gonna chaos step these guys over to here. And that's how I'm gonna deal with that. And the sappers, the sappers are a melee concern for this next turn anyway. Let's buff up you and You? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of eat shit here, no matter how I do this. I think. That's a pretty good amount of damage, though. Now these things, they have that sneaky trait, so they can slip right or stealthy, rather. They can slip right through the zone of control and just get to the archers. So I think what we want to do is just attack them so that they are, um, so they're at least lessened. We can't do as much damage to the archers. All right, Ice Bolt, not terribly effective. The archers can run this far forward, get deadly range on people, and then, yeah. Okay. I think we want to completely surround them. Yeah, it does seem like we're still going to lose, doesn't it? 
after all that. It's just, it's really hard to fight through these, these huge stacks of Legionnaires. Um, but... Yeah, I guess if I just run up to here, I am at least adjacent to a friend. I'm getting some bonus defense. I can kill some of them. Okay, so here's a question. One retaliation remaining. Okay, this is a piece of information I was not 100% clear on. I thought this was a good chance to notice it. Um, I was not sure if Retaliations reset at the beginning of the round or at the beginning of that unit's turn. Because uh, lots of games do it both ways. I do think the um, at the beginning of that unit's turn, so you always get exactly one Retaliation between your turns, makes a lot more sense, but they've chosen not to do it that way. I kind of want to just drop this dude, right? Like, let's just keep throwing up Defensive buffs, stuff stacks, so. Yeah, and just like work the stacks down one by one, right? Ooh, I can almost kill this dude. I'm going for it. There we go. Reducing him to one makes him a lot less scary as an attacker. All right, we got the boiling blood, but that feels pretty whatever. And I mean, there's nothing for you to do except just try to maul the one big stack of dudes they got left. And I guess aggression, right? Like, why not? Why not aggression? The other question is like, do do we fury? Because they only have it only it lasts until the end of the round. Yeah, I'm gonna fury. They only have one attacker left, and it's one who doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of offensive ability anyway. And in fact, I will I will simply pop him, I think. Let's just not even deal with that. Okay, and then you are very, very low on offensive capability. Let's nuke that even further. Yeah, I guess you can just fight here. Obviously at this point it's quite it's quite clear that we're solid, so Yeah, I just needed to combine the two armies a little bit better and in particular be wary of what he was able to replenish and where. Cause if like that loss of if the loss of Paradine had happened up here, it would have been a lot worse. Or like way up here by the by the uh, larger settlement, it would have been a lot worse, right? Because he would have been able to quickly refill with additional legionnaires and specters and stuff. Um, but preventing him from going back and filling up. And honestly, like, there's a little bit of an AI issue there, too, where, like, he probably should have fallen back. There was no reason he needed to press us. Um, but overall, just overjoyed to, uh, <laughs> to have finally gotten him. After the battle, the armor of the undead wielder was examined, but nothing could be found within. Whatever animated it was gone. Okay, well, that is a little bit of clarity. So secure and defend the area at this point probably means just regain control of all the stuff, right? Uh, do I want to fall back for safety's sake? There's no rally point up here anymore. Let's let's have a look. What is defending here? Okay, we can we can handle that. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. They're starting really far forward. Uh, so this is just going to eat all of them, and then. You are going to 
play defense. You're going to play defense. I don't have the ability to slow the enemies. If I give you plus five initiative, will it be enough to get you above the other guy? 24 and 22. Yes. Okay. So we're definitely going to do that. And then I'm going to, I guess, actually, I'm going to do it over here. Oh, I don't have enough movement to do it over there. But oh, whatever. This is fine. Uh, what's your initiative? 15. So you would not be able to, uh, would not be able to get quickened past him. I think it's better that I shoot him for normal damage than blow up the barrel. Now I'm going to blow up the barrel. But I think the barrel didn't, the barrel didn't do as much damage as that archer was going to do. I think. All right, convert. As long as they don't have a second Murkoth waiting in the wings, I think we're good. And Paradine, okay, Paradine's out for a minute. That's fine. Uh, the small settlement is ours. Stuff got converted, that's a shame. <laughs> we don't get to uh, receive our, our unfair units. Okay, well. We do have slots open, I guess. This is not a very impressive draft, unfortunately. Part of me does want to run back, just... Yeah, it'll take an extra turn or two, but there's so many troops, and they'll, like we'll be so safe once we've done that. All right, give me all of this stuff. I ran out of money. Can you believe that? Okay, and there's no troops left in this thing, so... Wait, did I not run out of money? I thought I... Okay, the important thing is we're at a full stack of scavenged bones, full stacks of these. Yeah, extremely good enough. Very, very much good enough. Okay, there is in fact another, another force. Well, let's go say howdy. Let's actually hire as many of these as we can. I didn't hire the last specter, but whatever, it's not a big deal. Um. I suppose there's no reason not to do defend with wielder. Let's see what this guy does. A massive horned one led a large party of fae. Human, you've gone too far. We will stop your onslaught on nature. It is you that go too far. I will not allow the fae to harm my subjects further. Return to the deep woods or face the consequences. And she's like, she calls this out over the battlements, and then she ducks down behind a crenellation with her fingers crossed. She's like, come on, please face the consequences. Please face the consequences. All these words, they will not serve you. I could not call off my horned ones if I wanted to. They're a lot like you in that way. Okay, well, this, this feels very resolvable. Uh, are we happy with this? I actually do think I'm pretty happy with this. Look at all these, look at all the superior positions and everything. All right, so first of all, the ballista. Yeah, I mean like, killing the little dudes matters, but. I guess I did, I did trigger his berserking, didn't I? Right, how does that work? Yeah, plus two damage. I also nuked his defense so that our first our first real attacks against them are in a low defense environment. That feels significant. Uh, I suppose I probably should have buffed up a little bit before doing that. Well, here, let's buff you two since you two are both about to start swinging. 
Oh, you actually can't even get around to there. Uh, well, what you can do is stand here and then buff your friends. You have a spell damage buff. That's fun. I've never actually seen this unit <laughs> before. I guess at this point, we might as well Fury, right? We don't have a lot of range. We don't have a lot of melee offense to... Uh, to partake in. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just save the resources. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Sort of thought that might happen, but it was worth worth checking. Uh, yeah. Two to three damage. Definitely want to take advantage of that. Unfortunately, I feel like the fact that these guys are sort of incorporeal should matter a little bit more in terms of like where they can move. It'd be really nice if they could just, like, move through friendly troops. Okay, you can't really get anywhere either. I guess just, like, get over here and wait. May as well just fry those dudes. You should be able to finish him off. But also, he'll kind of finish himself. Yeah, you know what? Let's just not deal with it. Yeah, these things are, are really feeling gassed. They got nothing left. Still weird to me the boiling blood works on skeletons. They have marrow, I guess. You can, po you can boil the marrow. Defeated, Nos stepped across the battlefield, nostrils flaring at the dead horned ones littering the ground. I underestimated you. Your powers are great indeed. You fought with honor. I mean, not especially. There is no honor in what has occurred in these lands. I will spare your life if you agree to take a message to your people and let this be an end to the violence. Hmm, there is wisdom in your words. May the essence of creation light your path. Ah, uh, and you know, at this point, like, I actually am kind of considering eight troops. Also, 20% melee resistance is pretty significant. I'm going to take, yeah, I'm going to take that as well. Okay. So, I think at this point, you can probably uh, go forth. I would really like to bring these guys with me. Let me let me pass the turn here. Let's hire in as many of those guys as we can. Okay. Now, let's get back to resecuring the area. I definitely believe this army is up to the task. And at this point, Paradine should be free to revive. So he can just hang out back here. Uh, none of this stuff's going to speed us up. So just move. I am just going to set him in there for a second. There's no reason we need to like be micromanaging his troops right now. Okay, quick battle. That seems like a fine cost, actually. All right, there's a conversion and... Should have... Oh, interesting. This got grabbed by the, the Fae while we were... Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let me just raise this, actually. Does she have movement left? Because that army's a little, is a little tough. 
I thought this was going to be a real easy, like, from that point, just go and finish the map up. But apparently there's still more shit to do. <laughs> okay. You're not interested in... in the immediate attack. Uh, do we have other building slots around here? We don't. So this castle feels a little bit silly. We could go grab some knights and troubadours. These guys were reading as risky. Which makes me a little nervous. The knights, at the very least, are valuable. I don't think I would want to, like, replace it. It would be the sappers, right? I don't think I would want to do that replacement. Um, I do think that we probably want to sell this building because of that. And I guess, like, can you make this a quarry? If we're going to be using knights to finish this up, we may as well use good knights. Oh, wow. The stats on these things better be pretty significant. Yeah, I mean, okay. They, <laughs> they seem very good. To say, like, that recruit cost is a little wild. Alright, turns out there's a lot of stuff around here that we're not actually in control of at the moment. Alright, I'm just gonna, you know... Let us power up a little bit before we fight this last army. This is my shrine now. I suppose we should take the watchtower. That's probably sufficient, right? We won the last risky battle we attempted. And I don't want to let them actually have time to build the thing up here. Uh, yeah, let's, let's raise it. I think we just want to do it. Let's actually, let's hit the stone circle here. And then we just want to do it. Let's finish things. Power crackled around the seat of the single antler of this fey noble. Her power seemed immense. I was kind of hoping this would just be a little mop up, but yeah, I guess the storm spire, right? We got to deal with it. Wielder storm spire, stop this madness. What cause have you to betray us and break the covenant between human and fey? Your words drip of the same corruption that spreads in the land. We will not stand for humans and your lies. We will not allow you to bring back the old days. You are as nonsensical as the rest of the Fey. If you insist on violence, we will be forced to destroy you. This is your last chance to save yourself. Long have my kin waited patiently, peacefully, while humans snip and strip the edges of our land. But you have gone too far. I am the storm that will rid the world of human vermin. The time for war is now. I mean, if it's gotta be, I guess. All right, so we're really relying on these knights to be like pretty good. I think I definitely want the archers up there. Yep, I guess let's see what happens.
I definitely like rushed this, right? We could have we could have spent a little bit more time playing defense. Maybe I should have. For right now, I just want to be like a little careful. It's not much reason for us to move in on them. I know that they're getting essence as well, but I also think they'll approach. I guess I should back up before using this. Uh, should I just drop one of their stacks? I should probably try to take these guys down, right? Because the, um, the little ones die so easily to like basically everything. Could just ride right up there. I think it's probably not a good idea. In fact, I'm going to back up a little bit with the Spectre. Yeah, let's, um... It doesn't say what the duration of this effect is. Oh, that's a little bit too much, actually. Okay, so they're just falling back. They're planning to just, like, spell damage us, I guess. Okay, that's annoying. Wow, that's um it really is a lot of spell casting. Like definitely more than they should be able to do. Okay, so we can give you plus one movement. Who else wants plus one movement? Probably the horses. Alright, you will get them for free. And you will take that. I don't know exactly how this army's mechanics work, but I imagine these guys have a lot to do with the spell casting, given how they look. So... Let's see, I could Chaos step you forward. I think that's reasonable. Uh, we can do the same thing to you guys. May as well. Ah, uh, came up a little bit short. I will still quicken. Uh, the archers too, I guess? The archers might need to move. You know what? The archers do not need to move. They should probably get out of the cloud though, huh? Yeah, sadly, I do not have any, uh... I do not have any fancy area effect spells like they do, so we can't... We can't take advantage of them gathering up in the corner like this. Uh, do I wanna... Because we could still move them forward. If I give them plus one troop movement now, it'd probably work, right? Uh, you get it, and I guess who is likely to need it? You? Yeah, we can still move to here and then actually take a shot. Uh, and not do enough damage to kill even a single one of our opponents. This is cool though, like we've not had an opportunity to see what a spell damage army looks like in this game yet, and I am I am enjoying this opportunity. All right, you're getting double attack. 
yeah, blow up enemy defenses for the rest of the round. And then also, it'd be super sick if you survived. So let's also nerf their retaliation damage. Great news, great news. Shoot, only getting two, huh? Well, it is what it is. We definitely take the attack. Hmm. So we can just teleport two axes, but we have the charge here. We need to take it. All right, this should be the the actual final battle of the of the map, right? Because this is Stormspire. This is our this is our narratively significant opponent. I really thought somewhere around the hour mark. Ah, uh, you know, it'll just be a couple more turns. We can clean this up. It'll be no problem. We got a cape of leaves. I don't even like that. As the last of the Fae fell before the Stoutheart troops, Giandra raised her staff to the skies. In a crack of thunder, she disappeared. Uh, but we get this. Well, until they've attacked or used an ability once, Essence Shield gives your troops... Okay, that's... I mean, it's kind of nice not to get blown up before you get an action, but it just, like... This is not when most of the combat is happening, right? I'm going to take Brutal, for sure. And I guess we still are not considered to have secured and defended the area, despite the fact that at this point we do own all of the, uh... All of the everything, actually. Alright, so this right here... This will be a place to build a peasant hut. This is where you want to build your castle. Although I guess we got we have a functional castle already. Maybe I, well, a peasant hut's a good thing to have anyway. We'll also want a lumber mill. Yeah, and at this point I'm not sure what secure and defend the area really means. Maybe there's going to be more enemies. I have no no idea how much more time we have on this map. This is adorable little waterfall back here that we never found before. Uh, okay. Here we'll build a barracks. Here we'll build an academy, I guess, because we have the other thing. Still, there are additional. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I guess we'll end the uh, we'll end the scenario shortly into the next episode because I just I can't believe how many people are wandering onto this map to come and to come and take their shot at Cecilia. But we're just, I'm just out of time. So that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. It is a bloodbath. It is a bloodbath out here. I guess I can see how Cecilia got how she is. When you come back next time, we're going to just keep murdering all comers. Because what choice do we have? And we'll see you then.